Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on anal fissure. An anal fissure is a tear in the mucosal lining of the anal canal, most commonly due to trauma from defecation of hard stool. It can be classified according to its duration. Acute for less than 6 weeks. Or chronic if it persists for more than 6 weeks. It can also be categorized into primary with no underlying disease. Or secondary to underlying disease like inflammatory bowel disease. Anal fissures are usually caused by inflammation or trauma to the anal canal. The major risk factors include constipation, dehydration, inflammatory bowel disease, and chronic diarrhea. The most common presenting feature of an anal fissure is intense pain post-defecation, which can last several hours. Bright red bleeding and itching, especially after defecation. On examination, fissures can be visible or palpable on digital rectal examination. Most fissures present in the posterior midline, in 90% of the cases. Often patients will refuse a digital rectal examination due to the intense pain. And examination under anesthesia may be necessary for diagnosis. Fissures within the anal canal be identified upon proctoscopy. The medical management of an anal fissure involves reducing risk factors and providing adequate analgesia. The majority of patients do not require surgery. Measures such as increasing fiber and fluid intake will help. Stool softening laxatives such as mavicol or lactulose can be trialed. If patients are still symptomatic, the next line of management is GTN cream or diltiazem cream. This increases the blood supply to the region and relaxes the internal anal sphincter, putting less pressure on the fissure, promoting healing and reducing pain. Surgical therapy is reserved for chronic fissures, where medical management has failed to resolve the symptoms after at least 8 weeks. Botox injections can be given into the internal anal sphincter, to relax the sphincter and promote healing of the fissure. Lateral sphincterotomy can be performed, involving division of the internal anal sphincter muscle. That's all for this video. Thank you.